The dough, where's the dough? Damn it, it's all gone! This is like a bad dream. That guy sickens me. He controls half of the brothels in the city, doesn't pay us a dime, and then has the nerve to say he's ending crime in the city. Of course, I wouldn't give a damn about what he says, but him and his whores are trying to expand even into our territory. I have a feeling it's time to finish his political career. With the election such a long way off, we'll have to remove him physically. I don't know, boss. Haven't we seen enough violence for a while? I just have a strange feeling about this. Tommy, we're on the verge of running this town. He's the only thing that's standing in our way. You want him knocked off in public like Morello? In public, yeah. But not like Morello. Remember that knocking off a politician is messier than offing a gangster. We don't want anyone to implicate us. The speculation and fear will be enough for our purposes. So, uh, how are we going to do it? Mr. Sewer has a rally today in a park on a little isle off Central Island. There's only one escape route over a small bridge, and normally it would be a problem. But Vincenzo has an idea. He took a regular army rifle and put a telescopic sight on it. So, you should be able to hit him from a much greater distance. You won't even have to be on the island. Where then? You can get a beautiful view of him from Central Island, from the tower of the old abandoned prison on the north tip of the island. You'll have the whole park right in front of you. And with that rifle, it won't be difficult to take out your target without attracting too much attention. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad plan. Good. Talk to Vincenzo and get the rifle. Okay, boss. And remember, Tommy, you have to do it from a distance, and nobody must see you. You probably only get one shot at this. If you don't hit him immediately, they'll cover him and the job will be ruined. I got it, boss. Hey, you got some heavy-duty gear for me, Vincenzo? You need to pick this guy off at a distance, right? So I dug out the best weapon for you. The military trains by mounting a sight on this standard rifle, similar to a hunting rifle. I got hold of a Mosin Nagant rifle. It's produced here, but the Russians upgraded it to a marksman's rifle. It's a good, precise weapon. It looks interesting. Well, I hope it works. Well, Tom, take a decent handgun, too. You never know who you might bump into. Ain't that the truth. Thanks. <laughs> Today's job is just for relaxation, boys. There's an import firm that brings in lots of luxury goods from around the world. Yesterday, another boatload of goods came into the harbor, and I have a taste for a few of the items on the list. What do they got that we don't have, sir? 
Well, I haven't smoked a decent cigar in a long time. And they have almost a ton of them. Cigars? Yeah, cigars. Something strange about that? Customers in our nightclubs are interested in good quality cigars, but they're expensive and difficult to get. If we manage to get a truck full of the best cigars, we could make as much money as we would off a bank job. What? Oh my God, just bring me a truckload. Paulie, explain it to them. Okay, it's like this. Paulie, what the hell is going on? How the hell would I know, Tommy? How did you snare a truck full of expensive cigars? The Don wants them and it makes us money. So it's up to us to get them. It just seems a bit small time for him. Forget about it, Tom. The cigars we gotta steal are packed in crates at the harbor. We need to get them to a truck and leave the harbor. But first, we have to get in. How do we do that? There's a tougher guard at the harbor now than when Morello was around. Exactly. Boot force won't work. So we're gonna play this one cool. We'll just nab one of the trucks while they're moving goods around the city. The trucks have signs on them that say Atlantic Import. We'll wait for one to come out of the harbor, follow it to a nice quiet place with no cops, then block its path. A few shots into the air or to get the driver out. Once we take his papers, one of us can get into the harbor. So we're gonna kill the poor bastard? Nah, it's too much hassle. So long as we get him out and get everything he's got on him. You'll take the truck to the harbor, Tommy. Load it up with the crates of cigars, then we'll meet at the agreed place. I'll load them up alone, unload them alone, and then maybe I'll smoke a few. So what are you gonna do? We'll wait a little away from the harbor at the agreed place. If somebody starts tailing you, we'll deal with them. Then you take the truck to the handoff point. Yeah, right. How will I recognize these crates? We'll have a sign that says Scorsese Import-Export. And the agreed place? We'll go there and I'll show you. Yeah. First we'll go there, and then we'll get the truck. So let's go. Since we're all here, I want to ask you about something. What's on your mind? Well, I got this idea. I might need you to do a little job with me. Oh, yeah? What's the deal? Well, it's a big deal, actually. I can't manage it alone. You're my good buddies. We know each other, you know? And Salieri? He know about this? Nah. He doesn't, and he doesn't need to know. He's already got enough money. So, what's it all about? Well, I was checking out this bank. What? What? Cool it. It's okay. This bank isn't too secure. It's just a little joint. At the end of the month, they always have a big pile of money in the safe. We'd be pretty loaded if we pulled it off. Or we'd all be dead. What's the matter with you? Besides, we got plenty of money. Bull, we ain't doing bad, but we sure aren't loaded. Salieri ain't a bad boss, but once in a while I like to make some decent dough on the side. Not some tiny share. Hmm. I'm not sure it's such a great plan, Polly. What do you say, Sam? Count me out. The family's pretty important to me. Yeah, right. You're probably right. Forget about it. I was just thinking out loud. Okay, good. Okay, I think it's time. I'll go get ready. I'll be back in a while. Tom, let's get to the hub.
going to get Salieri. Us two will take the truck to the warehouse. We'll meet there in a little while. Today was just great. While you two messed around, I carried at least a ton of crates surrounded by guys with guns. Somebody had to do it. And you're the youngest. Tim always has the bright ideas. <laughs> oh, so it's Sam. Next time, you can unload the truck. I ain't touching another crate. Well, we'll see about that. We did it! Good. Now we can finally see what's inside these crates. Good idea. Hope it didn't get damaged on the way. A few of them fell off. The cigars are smashed up. Well, it ain't so bad. This one's just bent. So we'll straighten it out. Damn! I messed that up! What the hell are you doing? What? I dropped a few things, nothing big. Hey, Box, what do you got inside? Christ! Tom, you ain't gonna believe this! What is it? What's inside those boxes? thinking what I'm thinking. Well, they don't look like cigars. And it's definitely not rock candy. Those are diamonds. And a hell of a lot of them. What if they're just phonies? You know, they exchange cigars from mirrors, props, beads, stuff like that. I think only Columbus got away with that. These look like diamonds, Tom. There's a hell of a lot of them. I knew Salieri wouldn't risk so much for some damn cigars. Well, it looks like you were right. What do you want to do? Should we take them? What? You think we'd get away with it? Well, we could say that some crates got lost in the chase. Or oh, you can forget that. That's bullshit. Put them back where you found them. I don't want to end up with a hole in my head. We just took one or two each. And there's so many. Holy. Okay, okay, I'll put them back. What if Salieri doesn't even know about them? I think we can easily find out if he knows. How? Sam's bringing him here right now. Come, we'll see firsthand if he knows. Bravo, boys. You did it. You got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. Ah, one crate got broke, but it's nothing. Looks like these ones at the back are okay. Bravo, bravo. Boss, should we unload the crates and put the cigars into the warehouse? Uh, no, no, not yet. Anyway, why should you do it? I can get someone else. You want to work at my warehouse, too? <laughs> Now nah, go take it real easy, boys. Good work. Paulie? Huh? I'll stop by tomorrow and we can talk about that little deal you mentioned. Yeah. Okay. The next day, I went to Paulie's like we arranged. So what, Tom? What's with the sudden change of heart? I didn't think you wanted to do it. That was when I still thought that Salieri wasn't using us. Now I know that he is. 
Well, you're certainly right there. So would you do the bank? What about Sam? Hey, you heard him. He's worried about what might happen and the Don coming after us. So if you want to do it, it's just you and me. What do you have to say? First, I'd like to see this bank. Then I'll listen to your plan. Fine. We can go and look at it right now. Okay, let's go. Yes, please? I'd like to take out five dollars. And your name is? Okay. Vic Comaney. We'll start here in the hall. We'll run in here and shout that it's a raid. Those two guards will probably just give up. If they want to play heroes, liquidate them. Sir, you're as soon as they're out of the way, we gotta get the keys to What's the that safe. To mean? We'll have to find That's out where it. they are. I'm through with this from the clerks. I, can't disagree I think with they'll talk up with guns at their heads. You go through that door, go and the counter. After you get the key. The door leads to a corridor. On the right is a staircase down to the safe and upstairs to the office. If you have the keys, go straight to the safe. Otherwise, you'd have to get them somewhere upstairs. Downstairs, there will probably be more security guards. You'll have to deal with them alone while I keep everything in check upstairs. Downstairs, there's a large safe which you got online. And you just gotta get the dough and get out. That's everything. Okay. Let's go. You better get out of here. My aim is to build a big fun. The bank is connected to the home security system. But even with radio, cars can't get here for five minutes. That means we'll have five minutes from the time we get in to do everything and then disappear. Gonna need some wheels. It's stupid to get a car from Ralphie, cause he'll tell Salieri. You'll have to get a good fast set of wheels, Tommy. For you, that shouldn't be a problem. No, it shouldn't. I think Lucas would know something. Okay, try to get something fast. We'll need it. I guess they won't just let us leave. Even if we get out of the bank in time, we could still meet the cops in the city. And how do you want to deal with them? We'll head to an abandoned joint right in Hoboken. It has Palmero Club written on the wall. Great. Okay, everybody. This is a heist. You're down on the floor, nothing will happen to you. I said on the floor! Everybody! Deal with the guard! Okay, I like it. Nice and cool. Everything will be hunky-dory. I want the keys to the safe and make it quick. Where are they? Uh, sir, the keys to the grating are here, but, but only the manager has keys to the safe. What? Where can I find the manager? Um, he's upstairs, in his office. This is gonna be a massacre. The keys to the safe. They're, they're there in the, in the cupboard. Uh, just don't k k k kill me. I have a family. Did it. First thing, I gotta lose these cops. We're low 
promoted, Tom. We did it. It worked. Sure looks like it. So what now? We'll change our clothes so they won't pick us up on the street. Put the dough in the briefcase. Fine, then what? Don't say a word to anyone. Sleep on it. Stop by tomorrow. Think about what we're gonna do with the dough. I'll take it with me. So Siren will find it. You know? Just don't run off with it. Sure. I'll take off to Hawaii. <laughs> Don't try it. I'd find you and stuff that metal plated briefcase down your throat. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we hid the dough from the bank at Polly's for the time being. We couldn't blow it all straight away, so we arranged that I'd stop by there the next day and we'd think of the best way to invest it. I had loads of ideas of what to do with the money, but I was pretty curious about what Polly's plans were. Jesus, what the hell happened? Polly, Polly, Christ, the dough, where's the dough? Damn it, it's all gone. This is like a bad dream. Polly? Uh, Sam? It's, it's Tom. Polly's dead. I, uh, I... Christ! I knew it. Tom, you're in deep shit. I wanted to warn Polly. Salieri found out about the bank and decided he wasn't gonna tolerate it. I didn't make it in time. Tom, you gotta disappear fast. Sam, I, I, I didn't know it would be such a big deal. I... What should I do? I can't just leave Sarah and the kid. Okay, okay, Tom, I'll help you. We gotta meet somewhere, but almost everywhere is dangerous for you now. Our best bet would be the city gallery. Okay, okay, I'll be there in a little while. I... thank you. You, you know Polly is lying here in a million pieces. I, I don't know who else I could turn to. It's okay. I still owe you one. Thanks, Sam. Don't move, scumbag. Oh, shit. Surprise! <laughs> you weren't looking for that at Paulie's by chance. Sam, what's going on? I thought we were meeting alone. The situation's changed, Tom. I had to decide whose side I was on, and sorry, but it would be suicidal to stand on your side. I can live with murder, though. So you killed Polly? Well, I was more the means to his death. The same as I am in your case. I would never have expected this from you, Sam. Well, I'm in a good mood. Things are looking up for me, and I, well, I found a bag of money. So killing off your partners is a big laugh? Maybe I should try it. Hmm, it ain't bad. But you probably won't have time. It's never too late to start. I guess honor's out of the picture. Honor's meaningless. This is business, and you've broken its unwritten rules many times over, Tom. Maybe I feel some pity. That's out of place in business. I didn't notice that I was the cause of the family's problems. Really? You did what you wanted, Tom. You didn't kill Frank. You let that whore get away and then the bank? You can't do what you know is right because you don't know nothing. You don't grasp the effects of your actions. The Don is the thinker. You were never a great thinker, so you probably need him. That's not how I feel. I can think for myself. The opinion of Don Cilieri is that he won't go and sit in jail just because of your feelings. And I agree with his opinion completely. Don Salieri really liked you, Tom. And I did, too. We'll cry together at the funeral. You poor bastard, Sam. I feel sorry for you. But I'm alive. It's a pity you can't use that money. Oh, but don't worry. We'll give Sarah a little something. You know, single mothers don't have it easy these days. 
The Don will take care of her. He isn't as much of a monster as you think. Goodbye, Tom. It was nice knowing you. Take good care of him, boys. And please, don't make him suffer. He's my buddy. As I see it, the boys underestimated you, Tom. Well, I hope they'll be luckier this time. Boys, be careful you don't break anything. There are lots of beautiful and valuable things in here. It looks like you underestimated your new partners. Maybe you ought to change sides. It's still not over, Tom. Things aren't what they look like, Sam. Salieri also double-crossed you. What are you talking about? We almost got killed because of those stupid cigars. Salieri knew that the job was risky. There were diamonds hidden between those cigars. He didn't want to give us a cut. That's why Paulie wanted to take the bank. Because he realized how Salieri was ripping us off. He told me about those diamonds, Tom. He only wanted to keep them secret so nobody knew where they were before he sold them. Besides, the diamonds have nothing to do with the fact that you didn't kill Frank! He broke the Omerta. Which is worse, Tom. How do you know I didn't kill Frank? You can blame it all on someone else you didn't kill. You're too human. She came back to the city and we found her by accident. Damn it. Tom, 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 you know you can't trust the dame. I can understand it isn't easy to kill your wife's best friend. Yeah, I should have done it for you. <laughs> she also pleaded with me and cried. Uh, well, we realized that we couldn't rely on you, so we checked up a little and found out about Frank. Sam, do you really think everything has to end like this? We still got a chance. There ain't no way back now, Tom. I'm sorry. Same situation again, Tom. And once again, you can't decide. Damn it. You did it, but they'll get you all the same. Salieri will get you. He stood by you, you rat. You're dangerous, Tom. 
and Paulie is dead. He was never, never sure that you would, wouldn't forgive his death. Oh, you're gonna have to hide like an outcast. And one day, they'll get you all the same. <laughs> like Frank. They found him? You only le- lengthened his life. But in the end, they found him all the same. And Frank was the Don's only real friend. Friendship ain't worth shit. Oh! So it was you again, huh? You destroyed the picture collection worth a few million dollars? I wasn't planning on it, but somehow it worked out that way. Otherwise, that's everything? I got out of there fast. It was no picnic. I really was in danger, but I pulled it off. I took the wife and daughter and immediately left the country. Sam was right. If they decided to find Frank in Europe and take revenge almost five years after he disappeared, They wouldn't let me just leave after betraying them. And you're willing to say all that you've now said to me in front of a court? Give evidence against all those men? Don't you think the situation will be a lot worse for you? What you're planning to do now isn't betrayal. It's more like treason. If these people go to jail, or better yet, death row, they won't be able to take revenge on me. At least not as easily as if they were free. I am willing to give evidence against them if you ensure our protection and after the trial, a new identity for me, my wife, and my daughter. If we manage to pull it off, it'll be the biggest legal battle this country's ever seen. It's an interesting offer. I don't know if it's moral to help somebody like you, but I think the results will be worth it. I think we'll help you. Everything worked out until the legal case. I sat in my cell and wrote down the evidence I had against all the people I had worked with. People I had been friends with for 10 years. The case was huge and caused a shock throughout the country. Salieri got life. Even some of his thugs got the chair. The shorter sentence was eight years. I spent the whole time in a closed cell at a secret location with no visitors. I didn't see Sarah or my little girl the entire time. In the end, it was worth it. Norman got us new identities and moved us to the other end of the U.S. I got work as a driver for a respectable company. We started a whole new life. This peace was only interrupted by the war, but we got through it. Mr. Angelo! Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. You know, the world isn't run by the laws written on paper. It's run by people. Some according to laws, others not. It depends on each individual how his world will be, how he makes it. And you also need a whole lot of luck so that somebody else doesn't make your life hell. And it ain't as simple as they tell you in grade school. But it is good to have strong values and to maintain them in marriage, in crime, in war. Always and everywhere. I messed up. So did Polly and Sam. We wanted a better life, but in the end, we were a lot worse off than most other people. 
You know, I think it's important to keep a balance in things. Yeah, balance, that's the right word. Because the guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. Of course, the guy who wants too little from life might not get anything at all. <laughs> <laughs>